Before we get started today, I just want to remind you that we're in the middle of our annual raffle, and tickets are just $50, and it really helps support all the wonderful work that we're doing. If you buy a ticket today, I'll send you a personal thank you letter and a little gift. It's really easy. Just go to www.ndgraffle.com. That's ndgraffle.com. I'll be ever so grateful to you. Now let's get started. There are times we think our world is getting better. Technology, values, ideals. We demand more of ourselves and of others, shining a light that dispels some of the darkness. But then there are moments of ugliness. A racially motivated massacre, an act of terror, an expression of bigotry or intolerance. How do we fix it? Today is the fast day of the 17th of Tammuz. This begins a three-week period of mourning, commemorating the suffering of our people in the siege of Jerusalem and the destruction of the first and second temples. In a truly revolutionary talk, the Lubavitcher Rebbe challenges us to think about the nature of a siege. In the simple sense, it's the beginning of a destruction. The enemy encircles the city of Jerusalem. Nobody can enter it. Nobody can exit it. Famine begins. The people are weakened. And eventually, the enemy breaches the city and destroys it and the temple inside. But there's a deeper message as well. A hint at the steps we need to take to fix the problem. To dial back the destruction. Our sages tell us that the cause of the destruction was sinat chinam, baseless hatred amongst the Jewish people. The internal strife and disrespect of one another led practically and spiritually to a divided people that soon fell into ruin. The corrective action that would be needed is avat chinam, baseless love for one another. Think about a siege. Nobody goes in or out, Suddenly, everybody within the city is connected. Everybody is codependent. And everybody is in the same boat, so to speak. Already at the beginning of a destruction, the Jews are being guided to think about how to fix it. Get the message? We're in this together. We need each other. Nobody can prosper without everybody else benefiting. Nobody can suffer without it affecting all of us. As we prepare to mourn the sadness that exists in our world, we are really being offered a key to the solution. Love each other, despite and even because of our differences. Feel responsible for one another, regardless of how we go about it. A little bit of love can go a long way. May these days of mourning be speedily transformed into days of celebration, and days of joy. I'm Rabbi Yisrael Bernath. Have a fantastic day.